So this is a quick recap. What we did last time is uh, we talked about what to learn, how to learn practically, right? All those things. And uh, we talked about the installation part that you should have Notepad++. It's a good thing. We talked about uh, one assignment as well. So this part is completed. Now we will talk about CSS today, more on the CSS side. And last time, I, as I said that, uh, um, you know, learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript is very important. We'll do, we'll pick some random uh, chapters from W3 schools to see what we can do. We'll understand some of the concepts with that. Okay. So let's start now. If you remember last time, there was one assignment, right? Uh, I will open it with Firefox, let's say. If you remember, we were doing this thing. Correct. And uh, the assignment was something like this. If you remember, this was the assignment that somebody will submit it with this detail. And then it should say registration completed, dear user, something like that. So as of now, if I say here Nitesh and if I click on submit, it is not saying me anything. That's a different story. Some people have submitted the assignment. You should do it um, if you are, you know, very serious about learning these things. Anyways, now, now, what to do? So as I said, let's pick some random chapters. But as I said, you should not do it this way. You should learn HTML one by one each chapter, not just theoretically. Do it in a practical way. Okay, this is a good website. I will pick any random chapter from here. Let's say HTML tables. Okay. And here it's saying that HTML table allows web developer to arrange data into rows and columns. Yes, table is something like this, where there are number of rows and number of columns. Great. And what, what else? It consists, what it consists, it consists uh, something like this, where you have table as a tag, which will create the table. TR means rows table row th means table heading so there are heading it's like this then the row is completed then there is uh, again next row td means uh, i think cell data right so now the real data will come as as like um, the cell data yeah we can do this thing why not? It's very simple. It's like table tag. Inside that, there are TR and then TD. All right. Let's try this. So, for example, um, in this itself, in this, let's create a table here somewhere, right? Just for learning purpose. We want to show some table here. Okay. So, I will open in... This one, right click, open with Notepad++. You you can create your own um, small HTML file as of now, okay? So I'm continuing with this. You can put any anywhere in your body. What is the basic structure of HTML? It's like it starts with the HTML tag. Then there is a body tag. And then, you know, inside the body, you can put the content of your HTML. It's like this. So I am saying here, I'll do a line break first. Okay. There are two line break. BR means it will, it will change the line. Okay. The thing is, it's like table, table. That's it. And inside that, let's close also table right so whenever you are starting a tag you should 
close also t a b l e is it like that is it t a b l e yes t a b l e and then uh, it's very simple it's like inside that mm, there will be rows and columns correct so i will say pr pr starting pr ending right so this will create a row so if you want to create two rows you will say pr starting tr ending one more time and in the tr there will be td so for example i'll say td and let's put let's put first name and last name something like this so i'll say uh, the first name is virat okay td and another so there is one more cell i want to put and this is let's say kohul okay and in the next row again i want to put one more name right so here i will say let's say shikhar and here i'll say dhawan okay save this thing so it's very simple what we did in the table we said this is the table there is tr means start arrow then td means it's a it's a data column data okay you will see how it will look like it's very simple so if i'll refresh this see here table is created virat kohli shikhar dhawan is visible but there is no border right there is no border visible here for some reason because we have not put the border tabular way it's showing me but border you have to put so somewhere i think there should be border i am guessing border is equals to one i am saying i don't know whether this will work yes so border is equals to one if i do it is putting a simple border for each cell if i say border is equals to two let's see what will happen oh 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 so it is like uh, um it looks like there is thickness in the border yes so thickness is decided by by you know border 1 2 3 4 okay that's it how simple it is how simple this is correct and uh, header value yes header also you can decide so header is again a kind of row will come right so but uh, it will be i think ph instead of td it will be ph okay and this is also th this is also th saving this this should be first name and uh, this should be last name or surname but we are saying last name save this refresh this yes first name and last name is visible and it is by default it's like in in bold format because you said it's it's table table header it's like this okay going back to that example are they want to say anything new or we did good yes we did good um okay td stands for table data great that's it then there are some examples they are saying that do this thing do this thing we are we have already done it table header yeah th stands for table header great we know that now um what else so it's saying that it's ex exercise that add something here and see how it is working okay we are not doing that then tags good one so there are other options so table tag we know to define a table th is for defining the header cell 
TR is for defining the row, TD is for the cell. Caption, define a table caption. I don't know what it is. So let's see, caption tag. So if I'll say caption, okay, how it will work? Uh, the caption element. In the table, you can say monthly saving. Okay, it's like heading of the whole table if you want to give. Okay, so I can give the caption in my example, let's say here, inside the table, I will say cricketer. Cricketers... Cricketers name. Okay, that's it. I'll save this. So let's see how this will look like. Caption is same. It's like it shows you the table name, right? It's like uh, what kind of data it is. It's optional if you want to put. Great. What other example we have? Okay, caption is done. Uh, then Call group. Specify a group of one or more columns in a table for formatting. That means you can say that how many columns will be there, how many rows will be there. Do, do your own practice here. Uh, column properties you can set. Uh, let's see what it is saying. That uh, you can say that call. So in the column group, you can define there will be, let's say, Call span to background color. Oh, that's it, is style. But what is a span to? I think it will be column inside the column. I'm just guessing. Let's see how it will look like. Yes. So it's like you are saying that these two will be a kind of will be in one group and this another column will be in some other group. So for example, if you see at the right hand side, it's saying call span to style is equals to background color red. So all these things are in background color red, but the this third column is on yellow. Okay, new thing which we learned here. Right. In this way, you can learn different things. I'm not going into detail like what are the things we can do with the table and all. You try on your own. You can define the header content of a table. T body. T body is actually table body. If you want to actually define it. Otherwise, automatically, whatever you write will come as table body. So you can see this example also. So this is table example. And to, to learn about the CSS part, let's give it one ID. So this table has ID is equals to uh, cricketer. Cricketer. I'll show, I'll tell you why I'm putting it like this. Okay. So ID, I'm giving the name as, let's keep it a small cricketer. Okay. That's it. Let's do one more topic. Uh, HTML, HTML, why not uh, forms? Forms are also good. Form is good. So let's see what is form. So this looks like a form properly, right? First name, last name and all. Right? It looks good. So form will start with form element. It's like form is also a tag. Fine. Then what will happen? Form element is a container for different type of input element, right? So whatever you in keep inside the form, it looks like you want to take the input from the user, right? Great. And then uh, an input element can be displayed in many ways. So input can be a text, input can be a radio, input can be a checkbox. Input can be a submit, input type can be a button, right? So there are a lot of things which is can be associated with a form. It's like this, okay? 
So they are showing some example that this can be one thing about your form and how how you have to write it it's very simple inside the form you can give the label and and at the same time you can say that this is uh what i want to do so let's do it i'll copy this but we will not do the exact thing let's do something i want to add one atm here so here after this i want to add one atm like an ATM kind of functionality. Um, so here, what code we will add is, let's uh, say header. So H2, let's say I'll say ATM, okay? And close H2. And then, and then uh, I will paste it here. But this time I will say label for not F name, I will say label for uh, current balance. Okay, so I'll say cur, cur balance, something like that. Cur balance is basically my current balance. Okay, don't worry about. And it should show current balance. I'll say current balance. And I will not actually taking the input, but it's fine as of now to create the text box value. So by default value, uh, let's keep it as of now, John, I'll change it, don't worry. And uh, this L name, basically I want to say um, withdraw, withdraw amount, withdraw amount, okay. So basically, we want to withdraw some amount from here. So I'll say, how much you want to withdraw? It's like this. Okay. Save this and let's see how this will look like. Refresh this. Yeah, it's coming here. ATM current balance is this. Uh, John Doy. I don't want to show that value part. I don't want the value part. Delete. Okay. And this also delete. It's very simple. It's not difficult. What we did, we said the create a form where label means the label. Actual label means this, right? Current balance it is showing. That is called a label for the, the element which you want to put after that. So this is label for current balance and it's it's a good idea to keep the next element which is uh, text box right keep the id and name same as what you have as a label okay but it's a simple text box which anybody can add it and then label for withdrawal amount i have put and uh, it will show right so let me put line break basically okay uh, yeah here so how it will look like let me refresh it yes atm is visible but there are a lot of things which we want to do this atm should be visible at center this should also i want to keep somewhere right so, and i want to keep it at the same line let me change br I don't want PR here. Delete. Save this. And uh, uh, I'm thinking. So how it will look like now? Refresh this. Uh, 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 no, it's not looking good. So let's keep it as it is as of now. Fine. Done. So in this way, you learn different, uh, you know, HTML elements, how they are putting it, right? Do it, complete it, this HTML thing till this point. We talked about it. Like what are the things you should learn on HTML? The more you learn HTML, you will become better on the on, on, on UI side. And it's a good thing to become a test automation engineer, okay? My part today was actually related to the CSS part. 
I wanted to show this thing to you. Let's try something on the CSS. But before that, let's understand what is CSS. So CSS is the language we use to style an HTML element. Okay. We use to style the element. Means what will be the font size, where it will be visible, right? A lot of things. Background color and everything. How to do that? So how to do that? The thing is, here you can create the style for different tags or different class or for different ID. So for example, if there is a body tag, you can say that, hey, my background color will be light blue, something like that. And for H1 tag, so wherever in my, in my website, wherever there will be H1, keep the color as white, text align is center. Wherever there is a paragraph, keep these things. Let's copy this. There is no harm in, in understanding this and it will be like this. So it will be generally in your head. Why we are keeping inside the head? Because we want to load our CSS even before the content. Okay. That's why we want to keep it in head. So for this code, what we will do, there is a head tag. Yeah, let's keep this style in head just a minute. So I made head tag here where you can put title also and head tag and here. Let's put this thing. So style, style is already there. So I will not copy the style part. Uh, I will copy from the body part. So uh, 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 hold on. Oh, it's not allowing me to copy. Perfect. I will copy from here. No issue. Copy. Going here. Putting it here. What does this mean? This means that wherever the body tag is there, keep the background color as light blue. As of now, my background color is yellow. If you see, if I refresh this, yes, the body color is now coming as light blue. I can change here. I will say light yellow. I don't know how it will look like, but let's keep it light yellow. Oh, it's looking like something like pink. This light yellow is, but it's fine. Let's keep it back as light blue. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, H1 color is white. So that means wherever the H1 tag is there, keep it white. So if you remember, we make it ATM as H2, correct? And what is this registration? Let's see. Registration is also H, H2. Okay. So registration should be shown as... Oh, it should be white. Why it's showing me uh, black? I don't know. Let's change it. So if I say red, let's see. Oh, it's H1. Oh, that's why. Keep it H2. Now it will work. Let me make it white again. Save this. Because the registration, this one is H2. And the next thing which we created, ATM, is also H2. So now this should be changed to white. Let's refresh this. Yes, registration and ATM both are white now which is not looking good actually. So let's keep it red. Uh -huh. Okay. So let's keep that red. And center. So automatically, if you see, now the things has come into center part, registration and ATM both, which we wanted. So registration and ATM is now red. How this is happening? Because I said in my CSS code that wherever the H2 is there, keep the color as red and text align is center. There are a lot of things you can keep like pixel, uh, how, how big it will be, 
the tabbing, the padding, a lot of things are there. Paragraph. So wherever the paragraph is there, keep the font size as 20 pixel font family as Verdana, something like this. So there are a lot of things to do. So you, once you will learn about CSS, you will understand it. Okay. One by one. What are the things you can put it here? There are a lot of things you can do. Fine. What we want to do, anything else we want to do? I want to keep this current balance also um, here in the center and this text box also in the center, correct? Both the things I want to keep in center. Is it possible? Let's see our code. So for that, you should know your own code. So my form, the form itself, I want to keep it in center. So let's give a name to this form or ID or class. Let's give a class. Class is equals to ATM. ATM. Okay. I'm giving a name like class is equals to ATM. So now if you want to give the style to this, the shortcut is you can say dot ATM. So dot means wherever the class name is visible as, wherever the class name you have put it as ATM. It's like this. If you will give, will give ID, then you have to keep hash here. If ATM is ID, then keep it hash. Otherwise dot. What I want to do? I want to say alignment as center basically for the whole form, not just the text. So I'm just guessing, is there like a line thing is there where I'll say a line, a line, and I'll say colon, uh, C-N-T-E-R, that's it. Mm, and semicolon here, save this and let's see this, this form should get it into center, refresh. Nothing has happened. Great. So that means this is not working. You cannot say a form should be aligned as center in this way. Maybe we are doing some mistake. So let's Google it. There is no harm in Google. So we will say how to align a form in center in HTML. Perfect. It's like uh, justify content. How to center line a form? Okay, we will we'll, we'll see how people are saying how to do that thing. A stack overflow is also good to, to, to learn. Okay, people are asking question and they give the answer also how to do that thing. So somebody is saying the justify content property with the value center. We don't know whether it will work. So I'm copying this. If it is a style property, then only it will work. So one of the style, if I'll keep it like justify content is center. Let me refresh this. No, 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 no. Somebody is saying it is case sensitive. Are you asking or telling me? Uh, I don't know. You you should check. You know, how to check whether it is case sensitive or not. Keep this capital F. Keep this color as capital L, C, O, L, O, R. And check whether it is working or not. You will get to know whether it is case sensitive or not. Okay. So justify content center is not good. Anybody else? So it's saying... Hmm, it's saying margin zero width. So that is about margin and all. I want to keep it in center. It's saying text align, which I was guessing it's not good thing. But let's do that. So it's saying all the text will be then center. Save this. I'll go back, refresh this. Yes, it's done. It's done. I... Okay, it's it's with text align itself. Okay, it's working. So things are done till this point. 